Good evening, wrestling fans. Jimmy Gimmick here for NEW North Wilkesboro Extreme Wrestling. We're in beautiful Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Next up is the main event. Tommy Payne, the NEW World Heavyweight Champion, gives a third and final title shot to the number one contender, Seamus Maloney, the Irish Hitman. This is Seamus' last chance. If he doesn't defeat Tommy Payne this time, Payne doesn't have to give him any more title shots. And the referee for tonight's special lumberjack match, NEW senior referee, Daniel Anderson. And surrounding the ring tonight, handpicked by Seamus Maloney to keep Tommy Payne honest, a group of eight NEW crowd pleasers led by the Carolina Cowboy Brady Hawks. The other eight lumberjacks chosen by Tommy Payne, perhaps the most notorious group of rule breakers in professional wrestling, Fallout, featuring the self-made superstar Mitch Blake and Jack Yuma. While we're waiting for bell time, let's go back to Seamus Maloney and Tommy Payne two weeks ago in Moxville, North Carolina. Both of these men have to be completely exhausted, but they're making their way back to their feet. And it's Tommy Payne dragging Seamus up by the hair. Looks like he's going to push him back in the corner. No, he's going to throw him toward Mark Barker. Major collision here. Mark Barker and Seamus completely out. What's Tommy Payne up to now? It looks like he's leaving the ring. Surely he hasn't had enough. No, it looks like he's got some sort of weapon stashed here at ringside. Seamus knows all too well what's coming. He's trying to crawl away on blind instinct alone. And here comes Tommy Payne. Seamus still delirious, but trying to make it to his feet so he can at least defend himself. This isn't going to be good. Wait a minute. Tommy Payne has thrown that crowbar to Seamus, falling down to the canvas and waking up Mark Barker. Mark Barker wakes up and sees Seamus with the crowbar. He's going to disqualify Seamus here. The crowd can't believe it. I can't believe it. Seamus still delirious, starting to come around. Tommy Payne is the winner, and still the NEW World Heavyweight Champion. Seamus has been disqualified from the match, meaning that he is banned from the NEW. But in all my years of commentating, I've never seen anything like this. Seamus was called to the next NEW show to hear the official ruling of the NEW Commission. Everyone expected Seamus to be permanently barred from the NEW. Ladies and gentlemen, Seamus Maloney, the Irish Hitman. Yes, indeed, it's Seamus Maloney, the Irish Hitman. He's playing an Irish lament that he said was meant as a farewell to these NEW wrestling fans. Everyone's expecting the NEW Wrestling Commission to formally announce Seamus' permanent suspension from the NEW. At least he's going out in style. He looks quite sharp in his tuxedo here and wearing the Irish National Tartan, playing his Irish war pipes. And now he's standing beside Big Daddy Flip, who's speaking for the NEW Wrestling Commission here today. Everyone's expecting him to hand Seamus his walking papers. Let's hear what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, the Irish hitman, Seamus Maloney. The following is a formal announcement from the NEW Wrestling Commission. After reviewing the footage of the Seamus Maloney Tommy Payne match two weeks ago in Moxville, North Carolina, the NEW Wrestling Commission hereby rescinds Seamus' banishment from the NEW and reinstates him in full wrestling privileges. In addition, the NEW Wrestling Commission would like to formally announce the induction of Seamus Maloney, the Irish Hitman, to the NEW Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. What a surprising turn of events here. Instead of being permanently barred from the NEW, Seamus is inducted into the NEW Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank everyone in the NEW, especially all you NEW wrestling fans who are the greatest in the world. Wait a minute, it's Tommy Payne with an underhanded vicious attack from behind. Punches and kicks, my goodness, somebody needs to put a stop to this. Seamus down on the ground here, security's on its way. But there's no telling what kind of damage Tommy Payne is causing to Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman. This could end his wrestling career. Finally, some security staff reaching Tommy Payne. Seamus was rushed to Baptist Hospital, but at least he was assured one final title shot against the NEW World Heavyweight Champion, Tommy Payne. So that's where we are. Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman, getting one final title shot against Tommy Payne. And the action begins right after these messages. And welcome back, wrestling fans, as we await the arrival of Tommy Payne. Let's go over the NEW tale of the tape. Tommy Payne with a 2-inch height advantage at 6'4", and a 25-pound weight advantage at 260. Neither wrestler has the advantage of youth, and they're both virtually equal in terms of strength, experience, and conditioning. 
Both of these wrestlers are street brawlers in the fullest sense of the word. So you can bet once again that before it's all over, it's going to turn into an all-out slobber knocker. And judging by the music, it must be time for Tommy Payne. Gotta give credit where credit is due. He's the toughest champion in the history of the NEW. And despite the occasional underhanded tactics, you have to respect his fighting ability. And even though his plan to have Sheamus permanently barred from the NEW might have backfired, he still retained his title. Tommy Payne, still the NEW World Heavyweight Champion. He's proven time and time again that he'd do anything to retain that title. But one thing's for sure, he's going to have his hands full as he gives this third and final title shot to Seamus Maloney, the Irish Hitman. Let's go to the ringside announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NEW World Heavyweight Champion, Tommy Payne! Love him or hate him, he's one entertaining professional wrestler, the NEW World Heavyweight Champion, Tommy Payne. Now we're waiting for the challenger. Here he is, the Irish hitman, Seamus Maloney. Seamus has become quite a fan favorite here in NEW since he turned over a new leaf. He promised these young wrestling fans earlier that he was going to try to win the title for them, and he would try to do it without utilizing any underhanded tactics. He's even won the respect and confidence of the NEW Wrestling Commission, including Sergeant Pruitt, who I'm told has been consulting with Seamus about various military strategies. Seamus now having a few words with Tommy Payne. After everything that's happened, there's plenty of bad blood between these two. This will be Seamus' third attempt to win the title from Tommy Payne. The first match was a real barn burner at the Wilkes County Agricultural Fairgrounds. It came down to the wire, but Seamus ran out of time before he could capitalize on Tommy Payne's mistake. The second match ended with some Tommy Payne shenanigans, getting Seamus disqualified and almost permanently banned from the NEW. This is the third and final challenge. If Seamus doesn't win tonight, Tommy Payne doesn't have to give him any more title shots. He's a two-to-one underdog, but my money's on the Irish hitman, Seamus Maloney. Seamus certainly has the crowd support tonight here in beautiful Wilkesboro, North Carolina. This is a lumberjack match, and here come the lumberjacks, the Carolina Cowboy, Brady Hawks, and his tag team partner, Chris Norris, there the Southern Express, and it looks like they brought along one of their trainees, and here comes Tony Valiant. He certainly had his own battles with Sheamus, but they've earned each other's respect. Next, it's gonna be Rampage, the highest flying wrestler in the NEW, and finally, I'm seeing the MWO, the Mexican World Order from south of the border, led by the crazy chicken himself, El Pollo Loco. And supporting Tommy Payne at ringside, on the other side of the ring, is that dark alliance of rule breakers in the NEW, Fallout, led by Jack Yuma and the self-made superstar, Mitch Blake. Can't believe you're filming this garbage. The keys to victory for Tommy Payne, utilize underhanded tactics. No one does it better than Tommy Payne, so you can bet he'll use it to his advantage. Let this band of ruffians at ringside do all the dirty work. Some of the worst rule breakers in the business are right there at ringside. Don't get impatient. Nobody can take more punishment than Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman. So Payne has to make sure Seamus is beaten down completely before he tries one of those finishers, especially one of those devastating finishers using a steel chair, if he can get away with it. The keys to victory for Seamus Watch out for interference from these hooligans at ringside. Hopefully he'll get some support from his own friends. Avoid Tommy Payne's underhanded tactics. The champion will probably be breaking every rule in the rule book. Avoid Tommy Payne's devastating finishers. Everybody knows the champion loves to use a steel chair. And his only chance is to survive long enough for Tommy Payne to make a mistake, then capitalize on it to become the NEW World Heavyweight Champion. Just in time as referee Daniel Anderson calls for the bell. Seamus getting some last-minute encouragement from his friends here at ringside, and he has some words of a different type here with the bad guys. You stay out of this, I think I heard him say, but I think we can count on this group interfering as much as possible. Now it looks like they're going to lock up. Tommy Payne working Seamus toward that corner, but Seamus turns it around, and Seamus rears back. Nobody deserves a knuckle sandwich more than Tommy Payne, but Seamus remembers the promise he made to these kids. Referee Daniel Anderson calls for the break, and Seamus is going to let it go. You could tell he really wanted it, and he needs all the help he can get here. Still, there's nothing Tommy Payne would like to see more than for Seamus to get disqualified here. Now they're going to lock up again, both men trying to get a firm foothold. Looks like Seamus is going to push Tommy Payne back into the corner but referee Daniel Anderson calling for a clean break. 
Seamus tempted again to give the champion just what he deserves, but he's going to remember his promise and let it go. That time, Tommy Payne pulled Daniel Anderson right in between him, hoping Seamus would hit the referee, no doubt. The danger of Seamus getting permanently disbarred from the NEW is over, but a promise is a promise, and these kids are counting on him not to break the rules here. Now they're going to lock up again. This time it's Tommy Payne pushing Seamus back into the corner, Daniel Anderson starting a count. Now let's see if the champion gives Seamus a clean break. Not a chance, he poked Seamus' eye here, followed up by a big right hand. Now he's going to push Seamus back in that corner and give him a big chop. Seamus in trouble here. And now a big snapmare sends Seamus crashing to the center of the canvas, followed by a rear chin lock as Tommy Payne squeezes for all he's worth. Daniel Anderson checking to see if Seamus gives up. He's still holding on for now, but he's got to find a way to escape before it's lights out. These NEW wrestling fans here in Wilkesboro are on the edge of their seats. Now it looks like Seamus working his way up. Look about intestinal fortitude. Tommy Payne doesn't want to let this go. And it's a chin buster. The champion reeling in pain. His teeth go flying. Now Seamus has got to find a way to capitalize on Tommy Payne's mistake. He's got to follow up here and make it count. Looks like he's going to drag Tommy Payne to his feet. The tides have definitely turned for Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman. And the crowd couldn't be more pleased. And a big Irish whip sends Payne across the ring, followed up by a big clothesline. Tommy Payne crashing to the canvas. Now Seamus has Payne where he wants him. All he has to do here is follow up and bring this home. The crowd's on the edge of their seats as Seamus moves in for the kill. But a low blow from Tommy Payne brings Seamus to his knees, and he's slumping over that ring rope where Jack Yuma and Mitch Blake begin pounding on him. There's nothing Daniel Anderson can do here, and now Tommy Payne's making his way around to distract Anderson as Fallout drags Seamus right out of the ring. Finally, here come Rampage, Tony Valiant, and the Southern Express. These hooligans are going to stand down here so Seamus can get back into the ring, but it may be out of the frying pan into the fire for Seamus as Tommy Payne continues his onslaught. Now he's digging his fingers into Seamus' eyes as Daniel Anderson is distracted. And now a big eye rank. How much punishment can one man take? Seamus is clearly blind, but he's still fighting. And now Payne's going to back him up into that corner and send him across the ring with a big Irish whip. But it's Seamus with an Irish jackknife. Payne doesn't see it. He thinks Seamus has crashed into that corner turnbuckle. He turns around. Big surprise. Here comes Seamus with a big right hand that sends Tommy Payne crashing to the canvas. My goodness. That's got to be it. Daniel Anderson in for the count. One, two, but Tommy Payne kicks out. My goodness, he's truly the toughest champion in the history of the NEW. Wait a minute, if Seamus does what I think he's going to do, we're going to find out just how tough Tommy Payne really is. That figure four leg lock and the crowd knows it's coming. Seamus has finished a lot of matches with this move and no one's ever escaped it. Yes, indeed, here comes that figure four. Seamus locks it in tight. The tides have clearly turned for Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman, and he finally has Tommy Payne right where he wants him. Seamus putting on the pressure. Referee Daniel Anderson asking Tommy Payne if he gives. I can only imagine the pressure that this wrestling hold is putting on Tommy Payne's knee. Wait a minute, Tommy Payne has muscled Seamus over. This puts the pressure back on Seamus. Daniel Anderson seeing as Seamus gives, but Seamus is going to grab the ring rope and break the hold. Smart ring positioning by Seamus, but I can't believe Tommy Payne escaped from his figure four leg lock. That's never happened. Seamus now working his way up to his feet. He's got to take this home while he has the chance. And it looks like he's going to drag Tommy Payne up to his feet and push him up against the ring ropes. Seamus is going to keep on the pressure, and it's a big Irish whip, followed by a big Irish elbow that sends Tommy Payne crashing to the canvas. And Seamus isn't going to waste any time here. He's dragging Tommy Payne back up to his feet. And now the two are struggling for position. Tommy Payne's a little too big to be pushed around. Irish whip across the ring, but it looks like Mitch Blake and Jack Yuma got a hold of Seamus' boots here. He trips and does a face plant into the canvas, and Tommy Payne doesn't waste any time. He's going to take Seamus and throw him right out of the ring here, right into the not-so-loving arms of Fallout. Here comes Rampage, thank goodness. Daniel Anderson not seeing any of this, completely distracted by Tommy Payne, as the good guys finally start to clear out some of this riffraff and get Seamus back into the ring. Tommy Payne now back to business after all that dirty work is done. It looks like he's going to roll Seamus up for the pin. Daniel Anderson in for the count. One, two, but Seamus kicks out. I'm not sure what's keeping either one of these guys going, to be honest. They've both been tested to the limits of human endurance. But Tommy Payne's going to drag Seamus up to his feet. What's the champion going to do here? Looks like he's going to pick him up for a big body slam, crashing Seamus into the canvas. That's a lot of Irishmen to be picking up and throwing around. Referee Daniel Anderson's going to check on Seamus, giving Tommy Payne the opportunity to grab one of these steel chairs. Everybody knew this was coming. That's Tommy Payne's favorite thing. 
Now he's going to wedge it into that corner. This could be big trouble for Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman. Daniel Anderson still hasn't seen it. Now Tommy Payne dragging Seamus to his feet, and he pushes him across the ring into that corner. Here it comes, big Irish whip, but Seamus reverses. Tommy Payne into that chair. Seamus covers him up. One, two, three. Seamus Maloney has defeated Tommy Payne. He's the new NEW World Heavyweight Champion, and the crowd couldn't be more pleased. Some of the kids here at ringside are climbing into the ring. This is their victory too. Seamus promised he'd do it without cheating, and he did it for them. Tommy Payne at ringside here can't believe what happened. What a fantastic way to end this saga. Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman, has survived the pain and become the NEW World Heavyweight Champion. Pandemonium has broken loose here in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, and you were here to see it. More well, wrestling fans now headed into the ring as Seamus Maloney celebrates his victory. It's moments like these that make me proud to be a wrestling fan. I'd have to say it was looking kind of doubtful there for a while, but Seamus Maloney, the Irish hitman, pulled it off. He took a tremendous beating at the hands of Tommy Payne and waited for the right opportunity to take advantage of the mistake. And you gotta give credit where credit is due. Tommy Payne sure didn't make it easy. He's still, in my opinion, the toughest world heavyweight champion any W has ever known. But today is Seamus Maloney's day. He did what he had to do to win the world title, and he did it fair and square. Thanks for tuning in to NEW North Wilkesboro Extreme Wrestling. For 13th Floor Productions, this is Jimmy Gimmick. Signing off.